What's good? This book. Welcome back to the Man Podcast, aka the Man Show, brought to you by Hard Not Worldwide. Let's get into it. So, uh, over the past week, we had this uh, event on Revolt where Charlemagne the Guy he interviewed Diddy, who is the owner of Revolt TV, and Charlemagne is an employee for Revolt. But they had a, a a talk about Diddy starting his own party and pretty much who he was endorsing for this upcoming election. And I just had a few things to, you know, say, say about what was said in the interview, what he was trying to get across and where a lot of his logic was flawed. All right. Now, at at first, uh, they started talking about holding the vote hostage and everything. You know what I'm saying? That's something I agree with. I've been saying that all year. You know what I mean? No no black agenda, no black vote. And I always stand by that. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you are not going to do anything specifically for me, why am I voting for you? If you're not doing anything for me... Why am I helping you? You're not helping me, so why am I helping you? You know what I mean? And I learned that after vote for Obama. I vote I voted for him twice just because he was black. And what did I get out of it? An Obama phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh Obamacare, which you know what I'm saying, like I said before, I've had to, you know what I'm saying, I've needed it at uh one point or another. But um other than that, what? Nothing. Nah, you know what I mean? So I, I stand by that 100%. You know what I'm saying? No black agenda, no black vote. Um, Holding the vote hostage, if you want to call it that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So um, they after that, they talked about, um, Diddy said something about uh, 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 white folk like uh, Trump need to be banished. And I'm like, okay, so if white folk like Trump need to be banished, so the black folk, they use the same type of language and show the same type of actions. You know what I'm saying? I got plenty of family members and friends that, that'll that pull out a hunky or a cracker at, at the drop, nigga, just as quick as they would, nigga. You feel me? And shit. I done heard motherfuckers say some wild ass shit about motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, that whole black people can't be racist, that's bullshit. Everybody can be racist. And shit, for the most part, everybody is racist. I ain't gonna say everybody is racist. Everybody's prejudiced. Everybody has their prejudices, you know what I mean? But as far as racist, dude, everybody can be racist, dude. It's motherfucking, it's niggas that talk the same way Trump do. It's niggas that voted for Trump and won't tell you that just because he was talking that shit during that uh, campaign. You know what I'm saying? And he been talking that shit. Everybody loved Trump up until about five years ago, dude. Trump was so beloved up until five years ago when he started running for office. All of a sudden, he the worst white man in America. And I don't believe that. I believe it's way worse motherfuckers out here than Trump. Believe you me. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Will there be a call on banishing nothing ass bitches? We go banish nothing ass niggas that ain't doing shit to help anybody. Dragging us down for real. <clears throat> Are we go banish them? They the ones destroying the community for real. You know what I'm saying? They the one fucking shit up, going ham. And shit, it's been like that shit since forever, for real, for real. But don't nobody want to talk about that one third, the two thirds shit. You know what I'm saying? That was in the Bible. But... Don't nobody want to talk about that because she it. We we uh, we um <laughs> we we hold uh crime we hold crime to a different standard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, black people niggas do so, but I'm gonna get to that in a second, man. And um then they got to talking about uh the Proud Boys. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and uh people at the uh poll watching and stuff like that and said that Trump threatened us and uh, Charlemagne tried to stand up and stand by 
And I'm like, you know what? I watched that. I watched that debate, man. And I don't even know who the fuck the Proud Boys is. Ain't nothing in Toledo where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So if there's a lot of motherfucking Proud Boys out there fucking hanging niggas and shooting motherfuckers, then she link me to some video. You know what I'm saying? Edify me on it because I ain't seen any of that <laughs> whatsoever. Shit. You know what I mean? So that's real talk. That's a fear mongering shit. That's that's fear mongering. Um, we got to stop being uh, afraid and, and, and stop being victims all the fucking time. You know what I mean? Stand up and be a man, motherfucker. Hold your nuts and let's go. Shit. You know what I mean? What what is you talking about? I'm going to the polls to vote. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to the polls. I have a mask on. I have a, whatever the fuck I need. Uh, I got motherfucking uh kleenex i got motherfucking uh, uh wet wipes i got motherfucking sanitizer whatever i need i'm gonna be there shit but anywho so <laughs> he's he got the they got the uh after that you know what i mean he got to talking about he he announced you know what i'm saying the hour black party and you know what i'm saying he he says that we're we're left out of the conversation you know and that's something I, I can't I have to disagree with because every damn uh debate race is one of the motherfucking number one topics that's being discussed every time. Race is the number one thing being discussed in this political race, this this presidential election. The whole democratic campaign is based on Trump is a racist. So how are you saying that we're not in, not in the conversation? We are the fucking conversation. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is we're not a part of the conversation in the right way. We have to be a part of the conversation as being motherfucking people that's going to contribute to motherfucking changing what's wrong with our communities. You know what I'm saying? Trump can fucking create opportunity zones. But if, if niggas ain't starting no businesses... Or, or coming together to form businesses and corporations in the community and take advantage of these tax cuts, then what difference does it fucking make? You know what I mean? So there's a lot that goes into that when you talk about, when you talk about uh, being involved in the conversation. You know what I'm saying? But we are a part of the conversation. We one of the main fucking topics. You know what I'm saying? It's just changing it from talking about reparations, which ain't gonna fucking happen, to motherfucking uh, investment capital in our fucking community and, and helping uh, young entrepreneurs grow their businesses. Straight up. And then he made a note about him talking about uh, people spend five hours a day on average on Instagram. And I was like, damn. I said, niggas will spend five hours a day on IG, but won't take five minutes to Google shit. This motherfuckers, I go on Facebook or Instagram and ask, oh, what is, what color is, 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 is this? Or, or uh, what, what fucking day is that? Or, you know what I'm saying? How do I get this phone? Who got the phone number to this? And it's like, motherfucker, Google, no? Shit, Google it. You know what I'm saying? There's so much that we live in an information age, but ain't nobody taking advantage of it. Everybody is on some bullshit, time wasted type shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't really benefiting them. It ain't benefiting our people. As a matter of fact, it's dumbing us down. But he was right in saying that we not organized. We are not organized. You know what I'm saying? But the reason we're not organized as black people is because we have no culture. And the lack of culture in black America is why we're at the bottom of the American totem pole. When it comes to any priorities, motherfucking uh, the Jewish community got taken care of uh, under the Obama administration. Um, uh, the uh, uh, LGBTQ community, they they saw their biggest victories under the, the previous administration. Um uh, 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 Latinos, uh, I don't know, please somebody, uh, explain to me the difference between Latino and, um, Hispanic. I'm gonna Google it, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it, I'm gonna Google it. But, 
uh, the the immigration was uh, became very lax and everybody was allowed to come in under Obama. You know what I'm saying? The previous administration. And all of these things are being talked about. But when it comes to uh, black people getting anything, it's like, oh, no, we going to make sure we take care of everybody and black people go naturally benefit. And it's like, bull, I call bullshit because that hasn't happened yet. It hasn't. You know what I mean? They talk about, I, all right, I'm going to just keep it on, I'm going to keep on subject. I'm going to keep on subject. Yeah, you know I mean, but, um, then he said the, uh, the, he brought up the definition of insanity. That was my favorite part. This is about like five minutes in. And he was like, uh, the definition of insanity is, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. You know what I'm saying? We've all heard that, but. My definition of insanity is voting Democrat for the past 60 years as black people and having nothing to show for it. That's my definition of insanity. Yeah, he later goes on to say I'm to vote for Joe Biden and hold him accountable. If we held him accountable for the previous uh, stints where he was elected, then why the fuck should we vote for the man when he's the architect of the crime bill? Why? I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Why are we voting for a vice president who's a former state prosecutor that took pleasure in, in, in putting niggas in jail, locking up black men who didn't need to be locked up, not letting them out. Them motherfuckers been working together for decades and it hasn't benefited us. And yet you want to put them in office? You want to start a black party just to put them in office instead of electing a black a black nominee? Diddy, why don't you ask Kanye to be the motherfucking uh, presidential uh, uh, candidate for the black party? Why, why, why not that? Wouldn't that make sense? Y'all both entertainers. Y'all both trying to take y'all both have political aspirations. At least Kanye does. Did he did he just try to get his brand out there? Yeah, you know I mean, but I, don't, I, I that's 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 another that's a, all right. But anywho, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back 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 to what I was saying about um he he why 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 would we why should we as black men vote for a man who holds LGBTQ rights in a higher regard than so called Black America's rights? That whole immigrations, immigrants' rights in a higher regard than black Americans' rights. Why? Nobody can give me the answer as to why. Every time I ask, I never get that answer. Why should we vote for a 77-year-old white man that tells us we ain't black if we don't vote Democrat? Why? Somebody please tell me why. Should I vote? Why, why should I? It don't make no fucking sense. It's so it's, it's hypocritical. And it shows that black people really can't live without white people. They love white people for real, but don't want to fucking admit it. They want to hug from the white man so fucking bad. And some of my best friends are white. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no racist person. I fuck with everybody that fucks with me. You know what I mean? But based on the fucking narrative that I have grew up under, the indoctrination I grew up under, it don't make no sense. Instead of voting for finding a younger candidate to support that got our best interest in hand, you pick the oldest, motherfucking, most prejudiced motherfucker you could. A man that looks at referred to us as super predators on the state floor. Crazy, bruh. So I was <laughs> I wrote that um niggas niggas will kill a nigga for even the slightest sign of disrespect. But when so called hunkies and crackers disrespect niggas a lot of their face and say, you know what? I'm going to give them one more chance because you can't have black without white. You cannot have black 
without white. If people knew where they really came from and got off of the color shit, it would help our people. It would help our culture grow stronger knowing exactly where our roots are. Black is a color. It's not a race. It's not a country. It's not a nation. It's not a kingdom. It's a color. It's a corporate designation. Where Trace back where your family comes from. And I bet you won't say black. If you was to ask somebody that came from Africa, they'll tell you exactly what, what nation and what tribe they're from. You talk to a lot of white people, you break down the conversation, they'll tell you, oh, I'm from Poland. Oh, I'm from uh I'm from England. Oh, I'm from uh I'm from Greenland. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh I'm I'm Canadian. Oh, I'm French. You know what I'm saying? They they know where they come from. They have culture. They know what their their um their lot in life is. And black people is just still stuck on colorism. Like that shit gotta stop. But they got to talking about black politics and, and, and how we need black politics. I'm like, yo, black politics mean more black education. We have to educate our children and groom them to become politicians and become uh, interested and invested in increasing the value of our communities and uh, strengthening the bond and unity uh, amongst our people. You know what I'm saying? It means black, more black elected officials. Black elected officials that's going to go in and put laws into place that's going to benefit and help us and make things a little bit easier on our people. It's going to mean more black police. I have, I know police personally. I know police officers personally. You know what I'm saying? From childhood. And it's like, yo... I don't, it, when I say fuck the police, I don't mean all police. I really mean crooked police. You know what I'm saying? I done dealt with some motherfuckers that done fucked with me for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm dealing with shit on the regular with them and I don't even be doing shit for real. You feel me? But, um, it's going to need more police because we need more, we need more protection out here from these crazy motherfuckers is ready to run up on a nigga at, uh, one in the morning when we leaving, uh, to go fucking to the grocery store for something real fast, or we, uh, just got done, um, with a booty call, it don't matter what we doing, we gotta watch over our back, we gotta have somebody there that's gonna be motherfucking patrolling, and making sure motherfuckers ain't breaking into our house, I had people break into my shit back in the day, you know what I'm saying, I don't like that shit, nobody does, except criminals, so we need more black police. We need more black people getting involved in motherfucking uh, watching over our communities and telling our uh, telling the relatives and friends that, yo, you can't be doing the shit that you be doing. If you do, I can't fuck with you no more. You know what I'm saying? I love you, but I can't fuck with you no more if all you doing is robbing motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I can't fuck with you no more if you out here actually killing people. You beating up your wife. You beating up your kids. You know what I'm saying? You doing foul shit. I can't fuck with you no more. You got to get cut off. Ostracized. They do it all across the world. Motherfuckers disown family members. And they never speak to them again. Because they did some shit you can't come back from. And the thing is, in the black community, people just let shit slide too fucking much. We're too fucking open to to allowing people a second, third, fourth chance. And we've been conditioned that from uh, the church system. You know what I'm saying? Turning the other cheek. But at the same time, they don't talk about how God motherfucking killed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, X amount of people for, the, for the, the, the wrong and wicked shit that they was doing. You know what I'm saying? They continue to do. You don't talk about that. But... That like a, that's that's another that's another story for another day. You know what I mean, but black unity. You know what I'm saying? He talked about black unity. Did he did? And um, black unity. I'm like it. It requires disavowing crime in our communities, as I said before, and actively letting our friends and family know that the bullshit is unacceptable. If you don't like that, refuse to straighten up. Cut them off. You can demand good cops to tell on dirty cops. 
dirty cops, but you can't tell on your uncle pipping hoes and your cousin selling heroin. You know what I'm saying? Niggas have an unnatural bias and a bias, uh, an unnatural criminal bias. And that bias is worse than black folks racial bias. I mean, white folks racial bias towards us. For real. And after that, they got to talking about, uh, he said something about weaponizing our vote. I'm like, yo, I agree with we'll weaponize, we'll weaponize it our vote and, and weaponize it our black dollar. That's the quickest way to change buys in the corporate field. You know what I'm saying? When uh, the, the when, when p black people stop watching uh, uh, NFL games uh, because of what Trump was saying about uh, the football players being ungrateful and, the, and, the, the, uh, and whatever. You know what I'm saying? The NFL saw a decline in ratings. You know what I'm saying? So to get those those viewers back, they embraced the Black Lives Matter, Colin Kaepernick narrative. And then they got those, they got some of those viewers back. But then they lost a lot more that weren't for that shit. You can't you can't satisfy everybody. You know what I'm saying? But when you when you fucking stop, when you when you boycott. Motherfuckers pay attention, straight up, and that's better than protesting. Protesting ain't doing nothing but just talking shit and, and, and causing chaos. But when you boycott, that's the best way to do it. And weaponizing our vote, like I said, no black agenda, no black vote. You know what I'm saying? And then I noticed how he went from talking about us, and then he loved seeing Latinos. He like, I don't even hear him talking about Latinos. It's like, hold on, what, I thought our black party was just supposed to be for our black people. Why are you starting to lump people in on a whole globalist type of, of, of vibe? I don't feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? Me personally. You know what I'm saying? You get to talk about that globalist vibe, you talk about Marxist shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't fucking with it. You know what I mean? Because then that's a fucking slippery slope. And then he got to talking about uh, he uh, Charlemagne asked about Kamala Harris and how it feels for her to uh, what it means for her to be a, a black uh, to be a black VP. And you know what I'm saying? He got to talking about black women and, and how they got us to this point. And I was gonna go on a, a tirade. You know what I'm saying? Not tirade. I was gonna go into a diatribe about black women, but I'm like I don't want to sound like a blast at black women. But, you know what I'm saying, was he talking about the, the uh, majority of the uh, black women who demonized good black men and fathers just because they was a hard work at Lang or he was a square? Are we talking about the same black women who weaponized child support? Are we talking about the same black women who passed their emotional, uh, emotional ways on to their sons? And then they grow up to start terrorizing the community because they don't know how to control their emotions? Are we talking about the same black women who hold feminism and, and lesbianism in a higher regard than the black man, a.k.a. Black Lives Matter or Black Lesbians Matter? Are we talking about the same black women that want to be both independent and taken care of? Are we talking about the same black women that's combative yet they want to be protective, protected? Are we talking about black women like Megan Thee Stallion and Pinky the Porn Star? Are we talking about or are we talking about the black women like the ones all over world star? I mean, what who are we talking about here? This is what I mean about, you know what I'm saying, my 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 channel, I I talk, I'm talking to black men, you know what I'm saying, cuz I'm a black man. And I understand that in order for our community to be brought back to prominence is going to take the rise of the black man. And they talk about having all of these black black women in power. And I don't want to sound misogynist, but look at all of the, the cities in, in America that have black women mayors, black women chief of police. They have the highest crime rates. Why is that? Cause they don't know. I ain't go. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna say I, they don't know what the fuck they doing. But when you have all of these these black female council women, what the fuck are they doing? They ain't doing shit for real, for real. Especially the Democrat ones. 
These are Democrat-ran cities, man. And these motherfuckers got the highest criminal rates in all of the country. Think about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's people out there that know what I'm talking about because they live in these cities. You live in Dallas. You live in Detroit. You live in uh, uh, Memphis. You live in uh, 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 Baltimore. You know. That shit don't be working. It ain't working. But... You know what I'm saying? Diddy, Diddy said something about uh, meeting with Trump. You know what I'm saying? He started getting in, in it about Trump. And and uh, he was like, I don't really uh, talk with politicians over the phone. I don't really meet with politicians. I'm not really into politics like that. And it's like, wait a minute. Hold on. So you mean to tell me Obama was a president for eight years and you didn't go, you didn't meet with the president until after he got out of office? Really? And, and say you don't really get into politics, but but you're talking about vote or die. No joke I can make about vote or die will be better than what South Park did. South Park did it better, so just go watch that episode. But real talk, he just do all this shit for, for publicity, man, if you ask me. Puff do this shit for publicity. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and if Kanye West was to do the same exact interview, if you used to motherfucking take Diddy off the screen and flash a picture of Kanye West on there, people would think this was Kanye West talking. He said it talking in the same fucking circles, yo. There ain't no uh, tangible um, a plan or anything like that. It's just diatribes you know what I mean going off of emotion but did he get the same black lashes Kanye did for the statements that he made did he threaten war he threatened a race war you know what I'm saying but <laughs> if, if Biden wins it looks like we going to war. I'm I'm not going to be involved with it. But I mean, shit, same thing with Trump. If he go if the Trump win, we going to war it looks like. I'm not going to be involved with it. So, I'm going to end it on that note. Um the 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 video was uh funny. I kind of laughed a few times. Cause it was, it was just silly, dude. Like the, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk about the editor or anything. I ain't no motherfucking sound engineer or nothing like that. But the shit, uh, kind of had me chuckling, man. But at the end, he, uh, he daps him up and they, and he, they, like, he like, go to, go to the Black Party, uh, website, this, that, and the third. And, you know what I'm saying? Sign up to join our Black Party. It don't matter if you're black, white, Indian, Irish. Dutch, Cambodian, Elephant, Aussie, it don't matter if you Afghani, Donkey, Slavic, it don't matter if you Nicaraguan, Cubano, Egyptian, come sign with the Black Party. And I just was like, how is you going to invite all of these people, you know what I'm saying, how is it our Black Party if anybody and everybody is included? I don't know. Do you agree with the way I feel about this shit? You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section below. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. Go to the website. Hardknockworldwide.com For more. And stay tuned to the channel. We coming back with more. All day. Every day. It's HK. Yeah, that shit was stupid, man. <laughs> that shit was stupid, dude. I don't really know how to stand. <laughs> Where the fuck is gonna be a black party? You just gonna say just vote for vote vote Democrat? You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much putting motherfuckers. It's like a Democrat.